having a weed, having a weed, having a weed, big, big weed. We have another verse of that. That was great. <laughs> Staycation is over, boys and girls. We're oh, back to normality. <laughs> Good. <laughs> we were gonna, we might even do it in this video. We were toying yesterday with doing a review of our staycation compared to a vacation, a holiday um, kind of video, but. Holiday? <laughs> it wasn't a holiday, it was hell. I said comparing it to a holiday. Hell's a little bit strong. We had some good days. Every day. Shall I come and sit down next to you, Anna, if you're going to be sat down here? Um, what was wrong? What was so bad about it then? TV was smashed, every day was a battle with him, he took his trousers off at wherever he went. Drayton Manor. Yeah, just, yeah. just his general. Okay, just those being bits a weren't teenager, great. Just... Half term is finished now, so he is back at school this morning. He's gone in absolutely fine. No, he, didn't. <laughs> he wouldn't get dressed this morning. Yeah, he went in absolutely yeah. fine. Oh, I yeah. wasn't involved he, in getting him dressed. He didn't even want to say goodbye, he just walked off. Yeah, exactly. He's we, just in the mood. We pulled up, opened the door, he went into school, that was that. Three pairs of trousers he refused this morning, so he's gone in <laughs> creased up shorts because that's all he wants to wear. And I'm not going to fight with him if he wants to go in creased up shorts. <laughs> he can. I tried three different ones. As you can tell, after what's it been, 10 days? of him being off because you've missed the last Friday didn't he so you've had seven days plus the other week yeah so ten days off ten days since he was back at school Anna is very close to breaking point um <laughs> it has been a very challenging week but it's over now we're through half term I think what we have learned is staycation probably not great for us <laughs> I, I there's just it's difficult to know for sure if we'd have gone away, would it have been different? Obviously his TV wouldn't have got smashed if we'd have gone away. We wouldn't have been tempted to do little bits of work here and there. I think that was the issue with us being at home. Because we were here, we were still mixing work in with having time off. Whereas if we were away, we'd have filled the week with activities and that probably would have kept him more amused. Like if we were down in that flat in London that we were in last summer, I know, we well, had, I know we had the issue at the O2 while we were down it's there, but that was yeah, that was one isolated issue. Whereas the last week has been difficult, hasn't it? He's just, he's not enjoyed the breaking routine. He's then obviously People not enjoyed, yeah, not enjoyed the internet being broken, not enjoyed his carer not coming. Now he's not enjoying not having a TV in his room. So half the stuff he likes to do isn't available to him anymore. And then Drayton Manor wasn't what he was expecting, what he was hoping for. I think he won. He, he likes it. He can't deal with the. I think he what the videos he watched didn't have restrictions. Yeah. So I think that's what's. Yeah, we've spoken to a few people who've said. Pre-COVID, you could just come and go as you please in Thomasland and the train, you could ride it up and then ride it back again and just kind of do what you want when you want. Whereas now it was very much, I mean, the amount of times they would say to us, if you get on this train now, you're leaving, you'll have to queue to come back in again. There's a shouty woman at the front of the queue. Oh, shoot, yeah. <laughs> yelling Jeez. at the queue going, you are in a queue. You are... If you get on the... Train, you will be leaving. The yeah, and I get why they're doing it, why they're being as clear as they are, but she was scary. <laughs> and um, yeah, it just didn't really work out, I don't think. So we've got the summer holidays, the six weeks of summer holidays coming up in seven weeks time, I think. Yeah. I think he's got seven weeks of school and then we've got the six weeks of summer holidays. And that means we've got seven weeks to come up with a new plan because what we've just done in half term didn't really work so watch this space if anyone's got any suggestions by all means let us know down in the comments we are not against the idea of things like summer camps and things like that but i don't think there's anything like that available to him um but if anyone's got any suggestions for good ones that are reasonably local to the midlands we'd look into it um if you've got suggestions for holidays or trips that we could do within the uk we will definitely look into them. But I think, I think yeah, the Drayton Manor will be a place we'll go. We will go back. Yeah. Just not like that. Uh, but that experience then makes us question. Well, 
I was looking into Merlin passes. Now you can't actually buy Merlin passes at the moment. You can only renew them, but that we were looking into them because we were thinking in terms of stuff like Alton Towers and th- and Legoland and things like that. And now we're thinking, do we want to do another theme park? I know we did Legoland last summer when we were down in London, and it was fine. But yeah, it's weird. I mean, Legoland is really good for autistic people, though, yeah. isn't it? They've got the sensory room. They seem really, really switched on with it all. So I don't know if Legoland's just a, a step above for that kind of thing, but we've not been to Alton Towers since there have been restrictions. We don't really want to... Like, if we get to Alton Towers and there's a queue to get into CBeebies oh, Land... Oh, God. Bear in mind, he's been there a dozen times before. He would... That would... Yeah, it wouldn't work. He wouldn't like that. He doesn't want to have to queue up to get into his favourite part of the park. He's used to just going there, walking straight there and spending as much time there as he wants and coming and going as he pleases from it. He won't necessarily stay in there all day. He'll come, go go back. And we'll never go early again. Never. <laughs> well, you. again, you say <laughs> that because we got there. It was a weird setup. 9.45 park open, but the rides don't start until 10.30. I've not seen that anywhere before. If that had been Alton Towers, you want to get there early enough yeah. so that you can get in when the gate's open. But we walked in. Yeah, I, I, which is, uh, we're complaining <laughs> that there was no queue, I guess. I don't know. It was, it wasn't the relaxing week we'd hoped for, but we'll, we'll, we, look, we learned a lot. We learnt a lot, we'll figure it out, and hopefully by the time summer comes round, we'll have a new and better plan because right at the start of the summer holidays is his birthday, so that's when he gets his new TV. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the week. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know, the internet is fine in here now. Um, the internet, we've got a strong internet yeah, signal over the entire got, house. Have you seen the Skybox? Yeah, I think, we've, unplug it I think we've broken our Sky Q imagine. box as part of trying to connect it back up to the new internet. I think Sky is struggling to cope with the fact that it's had about eight Wi-Fi networks since we've lived here. But we do now have the super duper Asus AI mesh thing with its big fat antennas all over the house and a TP-Link Deco system. So we've got two different networks. The Deco is basically just for Andy. So he has his entire network. And then me and Anna are using the other network and both of them are running absolutely perfectly. So I think the internet issue is sorted. Took its time. Yeah. But now we just need to come up with something to keep him amused for six weeks. Which is going to be interesting. In more positive news though, boys and girls, because it is back to work day. I am about to start recording football manager videos. I have a new thing out here in my office that I don't think I've showed you yet, which is... My super duper new air conditioning unit. We've got another one of these on the way. This is my one for in here, which has already lowered the temperature in this room from 27 degrees when we got back from dropping Andy off down to 21 now. I'm waiting for it to hit 18 before I come in and record videos because as you can hear, can't really record videos while it's running. It came in a massive box that we're now using for recycling. But we've got another one of them on the way, which I did buy for this room, but Anna has suggested it goes in the kitchen because our kitchen gets unbearably hot. So I think Anna's gonna get my Dyson fan in here. But in order to do that, I need to disconnect my computers because all the wires are all tangled together because cable management is for losers. But no, also- Cable management is good. Look at that, it's <laughs> awful Hello. for it. What's wrong with that? But also this week, I started the process of consolidating my two PC setup into a one PC and one Mac setup because I got the Mac Mini about a month ago, a little longer than that actually. And I, at the moment, I only really use it to edit these vlogs. But the plan is to use that as my editing PC. So what I now use as my editing PC, which is my best PC, is going to become my gaming PC, like a real top tier gaming PC, do all my editing on the Mac and let Anna have my current gaming PC no, for her setup so that she can play PC games and have something that actually works. So that's another job for this week. We've got a busy week ahead of us, but job number one is go and record some football manager videos while Andy is still at school and somebody over here wants to have some breakfast apparently. So I, inter- I, I interrupted her from breakfast. So come on, we've got to go and do the vlog. So you can't have your breakfast now. Dave heard the word breakfast and he's like, what? Breakfast? Yes, I'll have some of that. Thank you. Well, much later in the day, as you can see, the other air conditioner has turned up so we can get that set up in the kitchen. Dave, leave Gary alone. He's always trying to savage Gary the giraffe. Um, we've just collected Andy from school. Fair to say he's not had the best of days. 
Yeah. I'm going to come and sit with Anna and she's going to tell us all about it because move your feet. Sheesh. I'm looking at these. Look at her. How am I supposed to sit next to this and get us both on camera? That? Watch out, Dave. Now he's taken up his space. Hello. Could you put your phone down just for a moment and tell us about Andy's day at school? Because you're the one who spoke to the people. Yeah, they come at me. <laughs> I was in the car, I was driving the vehicle. <laughs> Two of them at me, I'm like, oh my god. Uh, something happened with the laptop and he proceeded to strip and have a meltdown for 50 minutes. And uh, dragged his parts on the floor. His undercarriage. He's got a friction burn on his undercarriage, which he's not very happy about. As you can imagine, I mean, friction burn on your balls, not going to be nice. Kevin! What? You said undercarriage, we don't say balls. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's not very happy. He's not had a very good day. Uh, he's certainly not engaged with any schoolwork today, from what I can gather. Did he go to the shop like he was know. supposed to? We never even got that far, did we? He's supposed to be Perhaps doing his work experience cuddles. on Mondays. Cuddles and asking people to take care of his undercarriage. Yeah, Which but now he's come home and won't let you do it. You offered and he's just said no and gone upstairs. So I imagine he'll just hide up there for a while now. And, um, come down for food soon. Yeah. So what Anna was doing on our phone is trying to work out what our bribe is going to be for this weekend. Because, well, that's what we do. We bribe him on Saturdays for going to the school all week, don't we? He's, it was a, yeah. a bit of a challenge getting him to get dressed this morning. He's had a bad day. He is saying school tomorrow. He understands he's going back. But we'll see what tomorrow morning's Andy feels like when he's got a, a sore undercarriage and remembers where it happened. So we need something to get in his head that this is the reward for this week. He's really, really asking to go to Nottingham, but we're not going to do Nottingham this weekend because this is the weekend Amy's with us. And it's not a particularly fun day out for Amy to go to Nottingham ride the trams and come home again, especially when she gets as travel sick as I do. So we need something that Andy's going to look forward to and enjoy, that Amy's also going to enjoy, that Kevin's also going to enjoy, and that Anna can supervise us all doing. That's basically the criteria we're looking for. <laughs> so what are we looking at? Swimming pools. Yeah, but She's examining local so swimming pools. They're, they're all like, joining theme. I don't want to join, yeah. I just want to go swimming. We all want to get our bikinis on, don't we? <laughs> I've got a bikini. Do you have a bikini? No. Well, it'll either be bikinis or wetsuits. We'll decide at the time. Obviously, if we do end up doing that, it won't be something we can film, probably, because taking a camera into a swimming pool is usually frowned upon. But it might be swimming. The other option we've got that we're toying with is just taking him for a night in a Premier Inn, because he's been asking to do that for ages. There's like five within 10 minutes of our house. So we, ha we haven't got dog kennels for Dave yet but what we could potentially do is if we're only 10 minutes away get him there nip back constantly nip back and forth between the two it's no different really to if we go out for the day we'd just be going out for the night and Dave could be all right I guess he's got a big bit yeah he's got a four litre water dispenser now so he'd be properly watered. We could come and let him out at normal time just before bed and be back here normal time in the morning. So it's no different to us really going off to bed. The only slight issue we'd have is if there was a badger in the garden or something overnight and he decided to bark for hours and we're not here to stop him. But we've got all our security cameras. We could easily put one in this room to alert us if he goes absolutely nuts. And then again, we're only 10 minutes away, we can get back. So that's an option. I don't know if it's a good option or not, but he'd certainly enjoy it. Um, other than that, ideas down in the comments. Always welcome. We don't want to go and do another big trip. So as much as there's been lots of people suggesting different theme parks and things that we can do after Drayton Manor last week, Ooh. we're not doing theme parks this week. Orton what? Towers Splash. Is, are we going to be able to get tickets at this short notice? Mm. The Orton Towers Water Park, he does love. We've only ever been there once. I'd be a little bit disappointed going there at the moment while I'm not allowed to do stuff like water slides and things. You can do water slides. I don't think I can. I'm not allowed to do any strenuous, vigorous That's exercise. Not strenuous. You just sit. I don't know. I would, I would suggest if I rang the doctor and said, Hi, uh, remember me, the guy who's under investigation for the heart thing? Can I go on a really big water slide? He'd probably say, You know what? Now's maybe not the time. Leave that a little while. Yeah, the Orton Towers water park is awesome. If we can get in there. Is it not looking good? I don't know. Yeah, watch this space. 
Boys and girls, you don't usually see us this late in the evening. It's 10 past 10, just finished my stream. If you're wondering what Anna does in the evening while I'm streaming, there she is, sat on the floor next to her pretty lights, playing Mass Effect on the PlayStation. But um, I've just finished streaming. We have had shenanigans again this evening because this no house. sooner, it's not the house. The house. It's not the house. No sooner have we finally got working internet we've got a good wi-fi signal over the entire house that's got working fine and now sky has decided to start playing up we can't connect our sky q mini box in the kitchen so we can't watch any tv in the kitchen and now the sky q box in here has started just randomly freezing up after what 15 seconds you turn it on put a show on so andy cbb's bedtime hour put a show on it's on for like 15 seconds it then freezes up which of course when that happens andy lunges over towards it pulls all the cables out the back and you can't really then try and fix it so we've had a few suggestions on twitch for how we can fix it and what might be causing it it might be the heat is making it overheat but it's not hot in here now so it wouldn't be that i've unplugged it again because the fan was just yeah, so it's annoying. really running the fan really loud. But a few people have said it might be now that we've got two mesh networks in the house. We've got the Asus two router AI mesh thing and we've got the Deco TP link thing that Andy's using, basically a separate network just for him, like we mentioned before. The fact we've got those two running, it could be clashing with the SkyQ, which also tries to set up a mesh network and basically overloading that and confusing it. So tomorrow when Andy's at school, we're going to experiment with turning the internet off and seeing if we can then turn Sky on and then trying to isolate what's breaking what. But at the moment, we have no TV. So we've cancelled Andy's carer for tomorrow because often if they don't go out, they'll sit in here and watch TV. But if they can't watch TV, Andy won't like it. So we've cancelled that. And it's just one thing after another. And we're a bit fed up with it, aren't we? We need a holiday. We need, and I know... We need his respite back. Respite was such an important thing, wasn't it? That you'd get that one weekend a month where Andy would go and do his thing and he'd enjoy going there and we'd just be able to get a break from the relentless one thing after another. And it, we know it's not his fault. Like the Sky thing's not his fault. He doesn't understand it's not working. And his reaction is pull stuff out of it. Yeah, but he shouldn't have. No, he shouldn't, he shouldn't have that reaction, but at the same time, it should be working. It shouldn't be a case of, the internet's not working, now the TV's not working. It's one thing after another, and I think we all just need a break. We're desperate for a holiday. <sighs> the idea of a Premier Inn trip is becoming appealing, because at least then we're somewhere else where everything should theoretically work. <laughs> oh, but he went to sleep at, what, 8 o'clock this evening? Well, well no, because he was awake at 8, I went up there at... 10 past 9, it was... Yeah, didn't do his bedtime routine. So, we'll see how he is in the morning. <sighs> and breathe. <laughs> 